mga kaisip mat welcome po sa ating isip mat tutorial youtube channel and for today's video pag-usapan po natin ang ating grade 8 mathematics quarter 4 module 6 or week 6 tapos yung topic po natin ay experiment outcome sample space and event pero bago po lahat if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Isip Math Tutorial, or join us on Facebook, DepEd Teachers Files. So, ang ating learning competencies, we have the learner illustrates an experiment, outcome, sample space, and event. And for our objectives, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to, or the learner expected to, define and identify the probability experiment outcomes sample space and event of a given situation and determine the possible outcomes of a given experiment and determine the sample space of a given experiment pero bago po tayo magsimula sa ating lesson 1 let's define first what is probability okay so probability means possibility yung mga possibling mga mangyayari so, it is a branch of mathematics that deals with the occurrence of a random event. The value is expressed from 0 to 1. Probability has been introduced in mathematics to predict how likely events are to happen. So, kung gusto mong malaman na ano kaya mangyayari if I'll do this one. Diba? So, that is probability. Mga possible na mangyayari kung meron kang gagawin. Okay, so for our lesson 1, we have here the basic concepts of probability. So, the basic concept. So, to know that one, we have here a sample of problem. A spinner has four equal sectors colored red, yellow, green, and blue. What is the chance of landing on blue after spinning the spinner once? And what is the chance of landing on red ones? Okay. So, ito po yung itsura natin spinner. Okay. Just try to imagine this is our spinner. And... Ano po to? Has four equal sectors, di ba? Apat po siya. Divide into four. So, mayroong color na blue, red, yellow, and green. And this is the hand of the spinner. Di ba? So, ang tanong dito, what is the chance of landing on blue after spinning the spinner one? So, ano kaya yung chance na doon sa blue yung arm niya? Di ba? After ka mag-spin. Okay? So, ang solution nito, the chance of landing on blue is 1 in 4. Bakit po? Or 1 fourth. Bakit? Kasi the spinner is divided into 4 equal parts or equal sector. And each sector or each part has a color. Diba? Assigned color. So, nila apat, isa lang yung blue. Diba? So, 1 over 4. Kasi divided, diba? Equal parts, 4 equal parts. So, isa sa apat ay color blue. So, ang ating chance ay 1 over 4. Kasi isa lang yung part na may kulay na blue. So, 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. Then, the next question is, what is the chance of landing on red 1? Okay? So, the chance on landing on red is 1 in 4 or still 1 fourth. Bakit? Kasi isa lang yung portion na kulay red. Diba? Apat na equal parts Tapos isa lang yung part na may red So therefore, 1 over 4 Okay, so, or 1 fourth Okay, so let's proceed So, ito na po, tapos na po itong na-discuss na What is probability, so means possibility And Okay, so we have here Still basic concepts of probability Okay, so still on our sample of problem Ito po, spinner has four equal sectors, color red, yellow, green, and blue. Tapos, nasagot natin yung tanong kanina, di ba? 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. Okay, na chance na mag-land doon sa blue at saka 1 fourth din na, mag, na chance na mag-land doon sa red. So, this problem asked us to find some probabilities. Okay, possibly, possibly, possibilities, di ba? Or possibility na mag-land doon sa red, sa blue, sa green, or sa yellow. Okay? Okay, involving a spinner. So, let's look at some definitions and examples from the above problem or the, from the problem above. So, we have here the definition and the example. Okay, still on the basic concepts of probability. We have for the definition of experiment. Okay, 
The definition is, is a situation involving chance or probability that leads to result called outcomes. So, experiment. Kung, kung gusto mo na malaman kung ano yung resulta, so you have to do something. Diba? That, that is an experiment. Okay, for example, in the problem above, the experiment is spinning the spinner. Experiment natin is spin natin yung spinner. That is an experiment kasi gusto natin malaman kung ano kaya mangyayari, mangyayari after. So, ang result po niya sa ating experiment ay tinatawag natin outcome. So, is the result of an experiment. Ito na po yung kalabasan ng ginawa nating experiment. So, for example, sa ating sa uh, sample problem kanina, the possible outcomes are landing on yellow, blue, green, and red. Diba? Yung possibility is pwede sa doon mag-land sa yellow, sa blue, sa green, or sa red. Then, we have our event is one or more outcomes of an experiment. Okay, one or more isa o mas marami pa na outcome sa isang experiment. Example, one event of this experiment is landing on blue. Isa lang yan sa mga event na doon sa blue mag-land. Pero the next time na mag-spin mo yung spinner, possibly na, possibly na hindi na doon sa blue mag-land. Okay? We have a sample space. Sample space is a set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. Set of all, lahat ng possibly na mangyayari sa ating experiment. Tinatawag natin sample space. So, the set of all possible outcomes of the experiment in the problem, yung kanina sa spinner, are landing on red, yellow, green, and blue. So, ibig sabihin, ang kanyang posible, di ba? Set of possible outcomes, posible na kalabasan. Di ba ito sila? Red, yellow, green, and blue. So, this, ito po yung symbol. The sample space. Tapos, andyan po sila sa loob ng bracket. Okay. So, Next definition, probability. Yung kanina, na-discuss na, na, na natin. is a branch of mathematics that deals with uncertainty. It is a measure of estimate or estimation on how likely it is that an event will occur. Kumbaga, estimation. Yung know, kayang possibility na ilan kayang percent na mangyayari ito. Diba? So, the probability of landing on blue is one-fourth. Okay, this one. Probability. Doon sa ating spinner natin, diba? One-fourth. One over four. Yan po yung probability na dun sa mag-land sa blue. Okay. So, still basic concepts of probability. We have here another example. Directions. Match the item on the column A from the items in column B. Write the letter on the correct answer on your answer sheet. So, try to answer this one. Okay. If you have ball pen and paper, try to answer this one. So, in column A, we have here experiment, outcome, sample space, and probability. And in column A, we have A. Ito po siya, B. The chance of landing on first one six. C, di ba, a six-sided dice is rolled. D, landing on four. And E, di ba, ito po yung sample space one, two, three, four. Okay, so just try to answer this one. Okay, so all you have to do is, ano kayang partner ni experiment, ano kayang letter, ni outcome, ni sample space, at saka ni probability. Okay, let's proceed. We have lesson number two, possible outcomes of a given experiment. Okay, remember that an experiment is an any activity that generates an observable result. The result of an experiment is what we call as outcome. Diba? Kung meron kang gusto na mangyayari, gusto mo malaman na kung ano kayo mangyayari if you do this one, so that is an experiment. And ang result ng ating experiment ay tinatawag natin outcome. So, we're going to take a look at the samples below. We have experiment and the outcomes. For experiment, we have toss a coin. Diba? If we toss a coin, pag mag-land doon sa baba, sa floor, diba, either head or tail. So, ang ating outcomes ay head at saka si tail. Kasi pwede head, pwede tail. So, ito po yung outcomes natin. Then, experiment, roll a dice. So, pag roll natin, yung outcome is either yun sa taas, yung 1 or 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. Kasi anam, uh, anim kasi na faces yung dice. Then, play a football game. So, play football. If, if you play a football, uh, pag may naglaro ng football, merong outcomes, di ba? Either may mananalo, pwede rin matalo ka, or baka, or maybe tie, di ba? Or draw. Okay, that is the outcomes. Then we have rain tomorrow. Bukas ay uulan. So, ang outcome niyan ay, ang possible outcomes ay pwedeng uulan or pwede na walang ulan. Okay. So, those are the examples. Okay, then, still on lesson number two, possible outcomes of a given experiment. So, direction. 
Just try to answer this one. No? Identify the possible outcomes of the following experiment. So, this identify. First experiment, we have taking, taking an exam. So, ang outcome ay either pass or fail. Pwede kang makapasa o babagsa ka. Diba? Then, second, picking a ball from a box with a pink, orange, and purple ball. So, try to answer this one. Then, tossing two coins. Diba? Yung kanina, one coin lang yun. Diba? So, head or tail. Okay? Then, for spinning a spinner with the colors red, yellow, and blue. Yung example natin kanina sa lesson number one. So, try to answer this one. Okay? So, I hope na nag-gits yung ibig natin sabihin. And we're now in lesson number three. Sample space of a given experiment. So, sample space. Ano po yung sample space? Diba sample space is the set of all possible outcomes from an experiment. Lahat ng posibleng mangyayari sa ating experiment. Ang tawag natin doon ay sample space. Then, meron po tayong simple event. Yung simple event po ay or single event. Diba? Simple event or single event. Ibig sabihin, an event that has only one possible outcome. Yan po yung simple or single event na only one. Isa lang po ang posibli na resulta. And then, next is we have compound event. If an event has more than one possible outcomes, compound, kung hindi lang isa o dalawa yung possibly na resulta. So, that is compound event. So, when determining a sample space, you must be careful to include all possibilities. This may become a difficult task when the sample space becomes very large. Kasi, pag marami na yung sample space, kumbaga medyo ano na, may complicated na na konti. Di ba? Okay. So, let's proceed. So, let's look at some examples below. So, we have your activity or experiment. Okay? So, tossing a coin. If you toss a coin, that's the sim simple event. Okay? Once lang, di ba? Isang coin lang din. So, ating sample space ay, there will be two outcomes sa sample space, either heads or tails. Di ba? Dalawa lang, either head or tails. So, that is a simple event kasi once ka lang mag-toss ng coin. At saka yung posible na mangyayari ay, head lang or tail. Hindi kasi pwede magsabay yung head at saka si tail. Di ba? Isang coin lang yung, ano natin, tinos natin. Then, Rolling a dice. This is a simple event. Isang dice, roll. Once. So, ano kaya ang dun sa top ng, ano, dice. So, there will be six outcomes. So, in the sample space, pwede yung nasa taas ay one, two, three, four, or five, or six. Di ba? Okay, this is a simple event. Okay, so next, we have here, still on lesson number three, Sample space of a given experiment. So, rolling a pair of dice. So, simple event. There will be 36 outcomes in the sample space. Kasi, dalawang dice, di ba? Pair of dice. Yung isa, pwedeng one ang resulta. Yung isa, pwedeng one. Or, baka, or, or pwedeng one yung first, second is two. Pwedeng one yung first, second is three. Pwede yung one yung first, and the second the Second is 4. 1, 5, and 1, 6. Diba? Paris, pair of dice. Pwede din yung first ay 2. Yung nalabas. Tapos yung second ay 1. Diba? Pwede din yung first ay 2. Yung second ay 2. Pwede din 2, 3, and so on. Same also with the other results. Diba? So if we count this one, there will be 36 possible outcomes. Or 36 outcomes. So that is this is our sample space. Okay? So, choose outfit. So, this is now a compound event. What is, bakit compound event? Kasi marami na kasi sila, di ba? We have here polo shirt, t-shirt, jeans, boots, and sneakers. So, there will be four possible outfits combination. Combination na kasi ito, di ba? In the, in the sample space. First is, we have polo, shirt, jeans, at saka boots. Pwede ding polo shirt, jeans, saka sneakers. Di ba? Pwede din na t-shirt, jeans, at saka boots or t-shirt, jeans, at saka sneakers. So, this is now a compound event. If we compare this one to the other examples, di ba? Mas medyo difficult po siya ng konti dun sa simple event. Okay? So, I hope nag-get siya po yung ibig na itong sabihin. So, that's for our um, module 6 ng ating grade 8 mathematics. And once again, this is Mr. Chair Koy of Easy Math Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.